it's like chips, but with instead of potatoes, it's a fish chips. Oh, wow. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> What's up, guys? Welcome back to my channel. And if this is your first time here, welcome to my channel. My name is Ismelda. And today's video is going to be very similar to another video that I have. And it's my trying out Icelandic snacks. to do this video because I did uh, trying out Peruvian snacks and I love the fact that I can sit in front of a camera eat snacks and tell you guys what I think about All right, it so the snacks did not come from CVS but my friend did come from Iceland and she brought me a couple of snacks so without further ado let's get started FYI I haven't tried any of these snacks it's gonna be my first time trying these out and I'm gonna start off by trying the lava cheese and if you know me you know that i am obsessed with cheese i love any kind of cheese especially brie and lava cheese with chili sounds interesting and it looks crunchy and oh it says crunchy cheddar yeah wow whoa it says what's better than that little bit of burnt cheese oh my god i already know that this is gonna be good i don't know if you guys own toasters but when you're toasting a sandwich and the cheese like comes off and it burns a little it tastes so freaking good nothing is better than burnt cheese yo honestly I'm gonna stop talking and I'm just gonna start trying Wow you can see that it's a little burnt it has a little dark burnt spots oh yeah oh yeah it tastes like goldfish I don't know if you guys have had goldfish the little fishy treats but burnt, burnt cheese. I'm gonna take a little skinny one because it's gonna be crisp. Oh, wow, even, look at it. That's exactly what burnt cheese looks like. And I'm sorry for my manicure. Jeez, I need one. Burnt cheese, boy. Literally burnt cheese, and I love it. I can taste a little chili, but it's not, the, it's not spicy at all. It's just a little like, but it's not like a... <sighs> All right, let's move on to the next one. The next treat that I'm gonna try is called Icelandic Horse Doodoo. I swear to God, I'm not playing. That's what it's called. Not for the faint-hearted. Try them if you dare. Ooh, yeah, that's so cute. Look at it. I'm excited to try Horse Doodoo. Hopefully it doesn't... You imagine it smells like Horse Doodoo, but it tastes good. It's like one of those questions, would you rather? There's a question that says... Would you rather eat shit that tastes like chocolate or chocolate that tastes like shit? So this is, imagine, this is um, shit that tastes like chocolate. Oh, it doesn't smell like poop. No, I'm just kidding. I knew it wasn't gonna smell. So it smells like licorice and it's hard, but let's see. Uh, so far it tastes like doo-doo. It's straight up licorice. Oh shit. It's not that bad, but the licorice powder is very, very strong. So when you first put it in your mouth, it um, it tastes funny. But once you bite into it and you mix the chocolate with the licorice, it tastes pretty good. But I kind of want to bite it into it and see what's in the middle. Yeah, so that's a little bit of licorice inside and then it's milk chocolate. Yeah. The initial like taste of the licorice powder is not good. Ugh. That initial taste. Mm. Let's go to the next one. So this came in a Ziploc bag. I'm gonna insert the video clip of the actual bread when it was in the packaging. So I don't know the name of it. I don't wanna butcher it, so I'm not even gonna try. I'm excited. So far is really, it's soft, but it's thick. Apparently this bread is is made under the ground So that's cool and interesting. I mean, I love bread, but I Don't know what it smells like but let's try it I don't hate it, but I don't love it and I love bread more than anything in the world um 
it tastes good but it's something that i would have like a little slice or something i wish i would have heated it up and put some butter on it but i ain't got no time to get up and go to the microwave all i have to say is that it's really thick and like hard to swallow wow it's not bad i like it not something that i would eat every day maybe once in a while maybe if i go to iceland i'll have it but let's move on to the next one Opal. I have no idea what it says down here. But, um, let's see. Opal tablets with licorice powder. Oh, wow. I'm afraid to try this because after having the horse doo doo and it had that licorice powder, uh, it wasn't the best taste. But I'm not gonna knock it until I try it. And. Wow, Icelandic people love licorice. Let's see. It actually smells like raisins. I don't know if it has raisins. I doubt it, but... Mm, let's see. Wow. And it's like gummy-ish. Wow, this is going to be one of those things that gets stuck in your teeth. And it has that licorice powder that I am not a fan of, but let's see. That freaking powder, man. Ooh. Oh my God. It's so hard to chew. Ugh. I'm sorry. I can't finish this. If you like licorice, that is the perfect snack for you because it's like straight up licorice. And then that licorice powder, I'm not a fan of. But if you like it, good for you. You can have mine. Do you want me to send that to you? Because, whoa, that's too strong for me. But I tried it. And let's see what else we have in this bag. So this, I have no idea what it is. This is called Sambo Pristo. My friend brought like a big bag. And it had multiple in it, so I just grabbed one so I can also try for this video. I'm not sure what it is, but by the looks of it, it looks like a little piece of chocolate or something. And I like me some chocolate now. It's milk chocolate. Okay, smells like chocolate. I'm afraid to try this because based on the other snacks that I've had, this probably has licorice in it. But I'm away. Yep. You can see the licorice, but you really can't taste it. This is actually pretty good. All right, guys, so we're up to the last one, and I've seen the bag before. I've smelled the bag before, but I haven't tasted what's in the bag. So let's move on. All right, so this is called Amino Bital. Amino Bital, which I'm thinking like Amino Bites. It says cool dried codfish without additives, ready to eat. And I've mentioned before that I love salty food, and I know that codfish is very salty. So I'm kind of excited about the fact that it's codfish. What I'm not excited about is that you can smell the fish, and it's a really strong fishy smell. But it might be good. It's ready to eat. I don't know if I'm ready, but let's do it. Oh my God, I just opened it and that smell of fish just like slapped me in the face. I love cod though. I said I love cod, I have to eat it. I have to just go for it. Yo, this shit stank. I'm gonna keep smelling it and I hate it. This is what I do to myself. It's like chips, but with Instead of potatoes, it's a fish chips. It's definitely hard. Yo, let me just do it. Oh, wow! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> nah, this is not for me. I feel like I need to go brush my teeth now. Thank you, Iceland. Thank you for that creation. I'm sure there's people out there that love this. I'm just not one of them. 
if you guys have tried this let me know like do you like it do you hate it like what was your first reaction if you tried this before you obviously saw mine i love codfish it's not even salty i love codfish because it's very salty but what's up all right guys let me know what you thought about this video and i will continue to make more of these i don't know when my friends are gonna travel or when i'm gonna travel but when i find out somebody's leaving and is traveling i'm gonna get right on these comments and like the video and please do not forget to subscribe to my channel anyways i'll be back with more videos bye